Thanks for clicking on this video from the Spring Midtown The Place, where we help people discover God's purpose for their lives and equip them to live shaped by the gospel. In order to make sure you don't miss any more content from the Spring, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and also check out our Facebook and Instagram pages to stay up to date on everything that we're doing here in Phoenix, Arizona. We hope to connect with you soon. Enjoy the video. How do we know that what we have in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John today tell us accurately, um, tell us the truth? Well, that's a great question. And I think that the best way to answer it from my perspective is to think broadly about the whole nature of ancient literature. So when we open the New Testament, we're reading a document that was written uh, 2,000 years ago. That's a long time ago. But there are other documents that we read, and we read quite seriously, that are just as old. Okay. Uh, we read Caesar's Gallic Wars. We read Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, which are 800 years older. Mm -hmm. We read Thucydides. We read Tacitus. I mean, we read a number of authors in the old ancient world that we take, uh, if not literally, at least credibly. Yeah. So I was doing some, some research on this, and I thought it might be interesting to uh, just give you some statistics, and I'll try not to overwhelm you because the main point is at the end, and I'll make that clear. So here's a couple of facts. Number one. Um, we do not possess the autographed copy of any book in the New Testament or the Bible. Okay. We only possess copies of copies. But no document in the ancient world has come down to us in its aut autographed copy. They all are copies of copies. Mm -hmm. So listen to this. Caesar's Gallic Wars, there are 10 manuscripts total. And the earliest that we have is 900 years after Caesar wrote. Uh, Tacitus history, two manuscripts. The earliest, 1,000 years. Um, one of Plato's doc, uh, dialogues exists on only one manuscript to us, 1,300 years later. Get this. The oldest copy of the Iliad, certainly the Iliad is the most famous uh, ancient document apart from the New Testament. The oldest copy is eight, 1,800 years later. Now, this is going to seem wildly exaggerated, but it's true. We don't have more than a dozen copies of any ancient text. We have 6,000 copies of the New Testament. Wow. Now, they're not all complete. Some of them are just the size of postage stamps. Some of them are paragraphs. Some of them are chapters. Some of them are entire books. And some of them are the entire New Testament. But here's the thing. These 6,000 uh, manuscripts, the earliest of them is within 50 years of the writing of the New Testament. And the earliest full manuscripts are within 300 years. Now, what's my point here? I don't mean to try to evade the question by lots of statistics, but two, two points. Number one, the New Testament is by far the best attested text of any document in ancient history. Wow. That's indisputable. That's big. Wow. Now, that doesn't mean that the New Testament is true. That does not mean that Jesus is the Son of God. That does not mean that the book of Genesis, God creates the world by the spoken word is true. It does not mean that. What it does mean is that when you pick up the Iliad or when you pick up Caesar's Gallic Wars and you read those and you assume 
that this is credible, that the New Testament would be worthy of the same assumption of credibility. Okay. Yeah. So this, I hope, was not too laborious, but it really is a fact that we have a document in the New Testament that is so well attested as a historical document sure. that it would at least be worthy of the presumption of being read seriously. Mm -hmm.